are back here at the Sutter Road Gap where we got dropped off at the marathon. Unfortunately, after we completed the marathon, three or four of us um, were very sick, so we had to have a zero yesterday. Um, probably got sick back further on the trail. Um, really glad we weren't at the shelter and definitely glad we did not get sick during the marathon. Um, so after our day off, still feeling a bit weak because of um, not being able to eat anything yesterday. But just take it easy today and see how we go. First nice view of the day. It's been following this hilltop around and you can see the town of Bastion in the distance. In about 3.5 miles though we get to a little outpost where we'll stop for some lunch. Looks like there might have been a fire through here at some stage. You can see down to the farmhouses in the valley below though. Made it to the outpost for some lunch. So just about to get some lunch at the Brush Mountain Outpost. So inside the outpost they've got the world map and I cannot believe that somebody has already marked the spot where I used to live. Currently living in Perth but just moved down from little old Fitzroy Crossing and I'll show you how it works and then you're gonna do it so it's outside of my control. Okay. We're gonna take the 10 like this. Okay, I'll put it on top. I'll flip through like this and then since it's your card, you just say stop whenever you want. Wherever she says stop, I want you to take the 10 off the top. This is all you have to do. You just take it like this. Yep. You just take it like this yep. and you move it down to whatever the location is. I'll sure. hold it exposed so it's easier for you to find and get in there. Yep. But then you leave it sticking out halfway like that okay. so we can still see it. That's fair, right? Okay, so we're gonna do it uh, one more time. I'll show you how it works and then you're gonna be the one to do it from here. You got it. So we'll take the 10. I'll put it on the top of the stack. We'll shuffle through. You'll say stop. Wherever you say stop, you're gonna take it off the top and just move it down like that. And then we'll snap our fingers like that. And I think the finger snap is what makes it work because then it just jumps right to the top. Okay. So you're gonna do it this time. You guys are gonna watch really close. You're gonna say stop whenever you want. Wherever she says stop, you move the 10 off the top into that spot. Okay. So we'll take the 10. You guys can watch as close as you like. Say stop whenever you want. Stop. Okay, right there, slide it in for us. And then remember to leave it sticking out so it still can be seen. And then would you uh, just take the whole stack out of my hands, push it the rest of the way in so that way it's fair. And then we snap our fingers, and there it is. Okay. <laughs> I tried. Now, uh, I'm going to shamelessly promote myself, guys, and I'm going to sign one of these cards for you. Uh, my name's Ethan, but I go by IE the Magician. I don't want a black one because they're harder to see on. And I'm going to sign that for you, and you're going to get to keep this card. I'll, I'll give one to each of you, but for now, for the sake of things, this is me. And I'll be uh, going up the trail around probably a similar pace to y'all. So maybe you'll oh, see you again okay. in the future. Thank you. Like trail magic, right? That's what it's all about. <laughs> and uh, now we get started with your card. Thank you. So we just had our lunch and a magic trick at the Brushy Mountain Outpost. And now I'm going to push on, I think, for about 12, 13 miles to a campsite with some water. So we're going through a pretty dry stretch here. another interstate. Second snake of the day. Old mate rat snake. Made it to 600 miles. So we're just by the water cache by the road but Horizon got her hopes up and then's noticed it's all empty. Bum bum. Because it has certainly been a long stretch without water. It will have almost been 20 miles. So it's 7 pm. We're still walking. We'll be pushing a almost 20 mile day today. Coming up to Jenny Knob Shelter 
and then there'll be about another mile to camp just up in absolutely no water this section really really dry so fingers crossed there will be some water by the campsite tonight so we made it to camp just about to have some dinner a little bit surprised there's no one else here which makes us wonder what is wrong with this campsite uh, lucky we got water before because there's none here either and looks like we're in a bit of a dry creek so really hoping it doesn't rain upstream tonight or we might get washed away but should be all right